Hey guys, um, trying something new out today. Trying a lower broadcast so that we can get kind of some stuff in here. And I guess I can actually sit higher. I've got my mixtape lemon dropper shirt on. I'm so excited about it. Um, Woohoo! So those of you who are going to conference, we're doing an 80s theme party. I'm so excited to, to go. But we're going to be doing, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Sacred 7 face serum. Some of you guys have heard multiple times through different people, different face serums. My issue is that there's so many different things you can make and it's based on what you, um, what you want, not what somebody has told you, okay? So these are not nail polish. <laughs> these are, um, basically what we do is we create our own serum. So it's kind of Harry Potter style. Um, these are different serum bottles and we're gonna be creating various, I've got a bunch, so I'm a total serum junkie, okay? <laughs> yeah, love that shirt, mixtape. <laughs> um, the thing about it is these are essential oils and what we do is instead of using a face cream that has chemicals in it, I'm showing you how to make your own based on so many different oils and you realistically can get away with just two. So those of you who are interested in just starting the process of making a face serum for yourself, what I'm gonna recommend is you're going to try one of the two here. So I've got rose hip seed oil and I've got grape seed oil, okay? So you can buy these at the grocery store, but I don't recommend it. I recommend um, watching, I'm gonna be uploading these onto YouTube. My YouTube channel is just YouTube forward slash um, the letter C and then uh, forward slash Jen O'Sullivan. So you'll be able to see, I did a whole post on carrier oils and why that's important to you. So carrier oils, um, they rock, but sometimes they really, really, really suck. <laughs> so be very careful about your carrier oils. Um, this is, these are chemical free, fully, fully organic and raw. So we're gonna start with that as our base. And what I do is I fill up to about halfway. This is a one ounce dropper. These are 15 mil droppers, half ounce dropper. Um, yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely, we'll talk about why that might be. She said rose hip made my face break out, but I love avocado oil. And then this little guy is also um, a half an ounce. It doesn't look like it, but it's the way the glass is, is composed. So the thing about it is um, when you start understanding properties of carrier oils, rose hip is what most high, high end um, quality face uh, serums and face lotions have in it. But the thing that is about um, Rosehip is that it is, it's a little bit, um, it's for older skin. So if you have, um, if you're younger and have uh, really oily skin, it's not a great mix. Do understand though that um, so many people have this issue with oil and they think that the oil they're putting on their face is gonna make them break out. That's not the case. It's usually, it's because your face is now getting used to something different. And so you're having kind of a switch over um, reaction. And so my recommendation on anything you do to your face is you have to give it at least 30 days. Okay. And that's frustrating, but that's just the way it is. So, um, some of you might've given up on rose hip and it's awesome. This is a good one for long term, especially if you have older skin, those of you who have younger skin or have what's called that T zone area, um, grape seed oil is really good for that because it has properties in it that help balance our skin. Okay. So let's get into the essential oils. Cause that's why you're here. I always start out with frankincense and lavender, okay, always. So just start there. And based on the mix, people are asking like, well, how much? Well, if you're gonna do a one ounce dropper that you can get at any of the grocery stores, like the, you know, uh, any of the main, you know, health food grocery stores, you can even get these at Michael's, but the ones at like Sprouts are a little bit better. The kids are playing outside. Um, the thing is about these is that you're making too much. I actually don't like making a one ounce dropper because it's a lot and this will last you several, like two or three months. Um, I like going to the half ounce dropper size. You can get these on eBay um, very cheaply. You can buy like a hundred of them for $36. So I recommend doing that because you're gonna make serums all day long and then you'll be able to make it for your friends. So go ahead and get, get that. I get these little guys from China. I just think they're cute and pretty. Um, and then these also you can get on eBay. So I'm a big eBay junkie. Okay, and my carriers I get from um, CocoJojo.com and uh, Dr. Adorable. So those are just the places I get my carriers from. Okay, frankincense, lavender. What you're gonna do for ratio, if you were making a one ounce dropper, you would put anywhere from, if you're just doing these two, you could put um, seven drops each, eight drops each, 10 drops each. I've even done 20 drops each and it, I love it, it's great. But that's if I'm just using these two, okay? When you're going to do a half ounce dropper, I'm doing about the same, because I do like it a little stronger. So I'm doing about um, anywhere from four to six 
to 10 drops each of these in a half an ounce dropper, okay? So once I start getting into adding oils, so now we've got frankincense and lavender. You can look online for what all these properties do. We're not getting into the properties of the essential oils. I'm just going over the mix. Um, frankincense and sacred frankincense. A lot of people say like, well, why are you doing both? Aren't they kind of canceling each other out? They're not. They're completely different plants. They're completely different trees um, grown from different regions. And so they actually do have different um, components. So the constituents in the plant is different. <coughs> Sorry, just came from a long, long class, so now I'm still, still hoarse. <coughs> okay, if I were going to do those, if I were going to pick, I'm going to go in order of what I would do first. So some of you say, well, I have no money to buy, you know, $400 in essential oils. What would you do first and then add from there? So I'd do my lavender and frankincense, then I would get sacred frankincense. Um, then I would add myrrh. That would be my fourth add. Once you're adding more of these, and if I'm just doing the half ounce dropper, I'm going to add three to four drops each, okay? So it's three to four drops each as you start getting more because you have to realize you're adding now more essential oils and it's gonna, um, you know, you have to have the, that base oil in there. If you've used any of these straight, um, like one of my last oils is Gentle Baby, um, it, it can like burn your face. It's really strong oil. So, um, okay, so lavender, frankincense, sacred frankincense, myrrh, we have a little monkey underneath me here. Then I would add royal sandalwood. So royal sandalwood would be my fifth choice. Um, after that, I would add ylang ylang. Um, after that, I would add spikenard or hyssop. So those are two kind of in there. Let's see if I can fit these. So we've got that. So right now you've got seven. Um, if you added the hy hyssop, that I love that one as well. So we'll start adding these in front. So this would be hyssop, or we can add them on top maybe. And then I would add patchouli. Then I would add Elemi, or Elemi, however you pronounce that. Um, the other four that I have here are for very specific reasons, and I'll get into that. So right now we have 10 oils that you could easily add to your face serum if you wanted to do all of them. You don't have to, though, and the beauty of that is research all of the different constituents in each of these oils, and then determine, based on your skin type, which ones you'd like to try. And it's not an even amount per, and it's not a set thing per. I have so many people that say, well, what is your recipe? And I, I'm not kidding you guys, my recipe changes every month. It just depends on what I'm interested in trying and seeing how my face responds. Um, I go through, we go through seasonal stuff, we go through hormonal stuff, so I actually have, I mean, it's no joke, my husband kills me, but I have so many of these little serum bottles up there, and I know exactly which one is like when I start getting hormonal breakouts, I add, I use that one, because that one is specifically mixed for those, so you're going to end up with different serums for different things. I even have a serum for my my chicken flesh here, you know, we joke about the um, the waddle or whatever that is, but the, the skin here that gets really um, wrinkly. Uh, I actually have a very specific oil for that that has um, cypress in it, and it also has that black castor oil that we talked about in some of my other um, shows. So it's the Jamaican black castor oil. So knowing that, um, you would figure out your mix here and what you want. So if you were ordering them in order, that would be my my thought process on how to go because these first few are really important. Like the first four or five would be my um, go-tos. Um, Ylang Ylang is amazing, Spikner, um, Hissa, Patchouli, and Elemi. And then the specialty oils to add on top of that, I'll show you real quick. We're going to create a little monster pile here. Cedar wood. These are for any face issues. So you're going to look up these properties and see what they do, but these are some of the ones that if you have um, problematic skin, you would add either, you know, cedar wood for one issue, um, tea tree oil for another issue, and then gentle baby and joy are my last ones that I add. I only do these for night creams because they do have some citrus, and I'm very fair skinned, so I would get photosensitive real quick. If you have dark, dark skin, you can use these in your day cream. This is awesome, you guys. Gentle Baby for your face um, serum. And Joy is great, too. I didn't put geranium in here. Geranium is one of the oils that a lot of people add to their face serums. I don't particularly like the smell of geranium, so I don't add it into my face serums. Some some people love it. Um, so, But Joy. Uh, people often ask me um, why I'm not putting jasmine in the mix, because that's one that most people use. I am psychotically sensitive to every single chemical out there. And what I mean by that is even because it's the only oil that is processed, or at least our company, you know, that's how it's processed everywhere. It's processed with extraction. 
and then they take as much chemical out as they can, but it has to be it has to be um, processed that way. So um, I, I kid you not, any time I even smell any jasmine, even ours, because that's how it's produced. I, I don't know if it's like a mental thing, but I do. I get an, I get a it's a frontal lobe headache. And that's my chemical headache, and that's where that comes from. So I don't even use that. Um, it, it sucks because I love the smell of jasmine, but I can't, I can't use it. So that's me. That doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it has very, very, very small amounts of chemicals, but my body picks up on it because I'm so um, psycho about being chemical-free. So Gentle Baby, enjoy our good um, potential extras. Uh, and again, if anyone wants to ever call me or chat privately about the constituents and why I've chosen these oils, you're welcome to. But um, these are just my favorites. So for those of you who are on um, uh, here tonight with me and you would like to learn a little bit more, um, I will be, yeah, how many drops do you use at a time? Um, again, it's up to you, but I start out with anywhere from three to four for a half ounce if I'm using all of them. Or if you're doing a larger one, you can do up to 10. Again, if I'm only using two oils, so, so those of you who added, um, yeah, I add it to a carrier. So go ahead and watch the, um, you know, you can watch the replay, but I'm adding it to this. So I'm actually putting half of the carrier oil. I'm either using rosehip seed or grape seed. I'm putting half of that amount in here. I'm adding anywhere from four to 10 drops of whatever essential oil. It's up to you. There is no one mix for a face serum because it's really specific to your needs. I need you to research the constituents. I even put carrot seed oil, not in this because it's um, intense, but for my um, making sure that I have sun protection. When I go out, I will actually put my face serum in my hand and drop a couple drops of carrot seed oil and then rub it on. So, and then once I put all of the oils in that I'm putting in, then I top it off with whatever is, you know, oil that I'm using here. I'll mix these two sometimes. There's a couple oils I use like jojoba oil. Again, it depends on the season. So in the winter when it's really dry, I add different oils on um, like jojoba oil because it's actually a wax. Okay, so then what I'm doing is I'm dropping about five or six drops of that mix. And I've seen people do this where they say, shake it up and then squish it and get it, you know, don't shake it. <laughs> Just roll it like you would um, nail polish because you don't want to get this aerated. Uh, if you oxygenate your essential oils, you're actually um, causing them to break down sooner than you'd like them to. They're very stable, but um, I just like to be very gentle with my oils. Everybody has different methods of doing this. I just roll it like I would um, you know, nail polish. And then if you wanted to, you could squeeze it just a little bit, but try not to get those air bubbles in there, okay? And then I'm taking it out, I'm dropping some drops on my hand, like five or six, however many it needs, you know, to cover. And I cover everything, and I come down my neck to my decolletage here, my chest, and the back of my hands, okay? So that's how I apply my oil. Um, okay, so those of you guys who are new to Periscope, if you wanna stick around, I'm doing a quick one after this on how to um, use Periscope a little easier for you guys who are new. So I encourage you to stick around, and uh, if you have any questions about this, it's a lot of fun, but these are the oils I recommend. So I love it, it's fun. Thank you guys for the hearts, and um, I appreciate you being around. You're welcome, we'll talk in a little bit.